Hey everybody, my name is David and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church. Uh, some of you probably already know this, but uh, my wife and I are from California and before I came out here, I actually worked at Disneyland. And uh, one of the things that I did was I was a ride operator and I worked specifically in uh, Fantasyland where all the kids rides are. So like the carousel, Peter Pan, uh, Pinocchio, things like that. And they would give us as the employees what they called a rotation which means you worked two or maybe three rides a day. They moved you around a little bit just to kind of keep you active, keep you going, uh, so that you weren't standing in one spot doing the same thing all the time. And one of my favorite rotations was Casey Jr. and Snow White. And I reason why is because I just loved Casey Jr. I loved the fact that I could drive the train. Like I got to drive the train uh, and, and move people around the track and uh, do a little spiel on the microphone. It was fun. But after that, I had to go into Snow White. And Snow White's uh, what we call a dark ride because it's, it's dark. <laughs> and uh, everyone gets on these little buggies and cars and they go around in this kind of like fake haunted house. Uh, Snow White's a kind of a scary show. But there's some irony there. There was some irony there for me because uh, Disneyland is a very popular place and there's lots of tourists. And when people are on vacation and they're touristy, they can get a little punchy, right? They can get a little irritated sometimes. And I'm there every day uh, wearing my uniform and trying to give good customer service, but you know, be friendly and be happy. And there's some irony there where while you're sitting at the ride, nonstop you hear whistle while you work right? Over and over again, the song Whistle While You Work, while you're actually working, right? In a place where people are playing. And there comes a time when you're thinking to yourself, how, how do I do that, dwarves? How do I do that? How do I become happy at work? Surprisingly, there are a lot of people who have trouble whistling while they work. Studies show that many people feel undervalued, at work or they feel like their job is meaningless, like they don't offer anything. And I totally understand. Each one of us has different jobs. We all work differently. We all have different work environments. Some of us like our work environments, others don't. You have a, a boss that's different from my boss. Some of you work for yourselves and you are your own boss. So there is no one cookie cutter answer that's gonna work for everybody. I totally get that. And you could easily just look at me and say, you're a pastor, so like, do you even work? Like, that seems, that's probably like the easiest, funnest job in the world, right? And I'd agree with you, our jobs are very different. I was a paper boy for two years. I worked at Burger King for four years. I worked at Toys R Us in the warehouse for five years, and I used to unload semi trucks and stock shelves. I worked in the mall for another two years, and one of those years when I was working in the mall, that was at the same time I was working at Toys R Us. That means there was one Christmas where I worked at Toys R Us, clocked out, walked over to the mall and clocked in over there and then just kept going. I worked at Aaron Brothers Art Stores for many years, and then I ended up working for a large university as a computer technician, and only after that did I ever start working full-time and making a living working for a church. So, of course, I understand what it's like to work in a secular world and in a secular environment, but should we be treating those two places as different? I mean, yes, of course, pastors and missionaries, they have a calling and we talk about that calling, but what about you? Don't you have a calling in the vocation that you're in now? So this Sunday, let's examine this. Let's approach work and our career from a biblical point of view. And maybe let's look at perhaps some of the things that take all the happiness out of our jobs and maybe try to find some things that we can inject back into our jobs to bring some joy there and of course, bring some God there. How do we integrate work and life together cohesively and spiritually? This Sunday, we've got two service opportunities for you. We have a 9.30 and an 11 o'clock service. Our 9.30 service is more traditional with hymns. Uh, we have a little hour in between with coffee and donuts, a little fellowship time. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a more contemporary service with a worship team. And also at 11, we have a full children's program from birth all the way to high school. Thanks, guys. I'll see you there. Bye.